Hi everyone, this is Yulia Panchenko. I am a boudoir and nude photographer and you are watching another episode of Better Boudoir. Uh, we are in Georgia, we just had our workshop in Atlanta and we are visiting uh, this amazing photographer, her name is Margot and uh, she is uh, at um, Ava Rose Boudoir. So we are now at her home studio and look what she prepared for us, a welcome sign. Welcome Believe in Boudoir to Ava Rose Boudoir. This is so cute. Um, I'm touched already so I'm super excited to see her and do this episode uh, with her. So let's see what uh, she prepared for us. to see you and have great you in my studio great to see you too thank you for so much for having us i'm super excited absolutely uh, and we're recording already so oh, hi. <laughs> um, hi. thank you so much for that sign that is so uh, so many you know that's just a little special touch, touch that we yes. like to do um, because i have a home studio so every little touch is um is tied to the experience when my clients nice. come to see me so. well i always talk about experience and i always give that experience to my clients and mm. guess what now i'm Get getting chance. all the experience. i'm gonna give it all to her <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much all what right. welcome show, show us uh so when you come studio. into my home i have my um li living sitting space mm -hmm. hopefully um pretty soon i will learn how to shoot in this gorgeous space this is like my zen area so um i love the colors thank you the thank plants you over here thank Look, you i have beautiful. um i hope i don't kill my plants but i'm trying to <laughs> learn how to have that thumb to keep my baby pretty and gorgeous <laughs> all right no i love this this the this face looks looks beautiful yes and, and what i try to do because it's my home i create like a separate space so um i know some clients of some studios home studios they just wide open mm -hmm. but i want them to look and feel like they're in a studio or into a luxury okay. you know location but Follow me, let me take you on down. Oh. Wait for me. <laughs> nice. Well, here are some of my beautiful artwork. Look at this. She utilizes all her space. <laughs> Thank and you. she used this little um, corridor, or how would I call it, um, as her. Um, my little gallery, gallery. Yeah, to showcase so I try to everything she does maximize all the space that I have and then when you come down to the babe cave oh okay <laughs> we reach the cave <laughs> we get an opportunity to take um, a quick picture in front of our hello gorgeous nice uh, and look at this this is another sign right here <laughs> another personal touch turn, turn the camera here all right and this what we do great. also um, we create a sign so everyone is always asking the question what's your Wi-Fi code so we create another experience so only thing our client has to do is scan oh, the barcode nice. and then they'll automatically take them to um, open up the um, Wi-Fi for them to have access to it very rather quickly and then also um this i have shot many 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 clients but i started my little um my reveal wall where i'm just showing some of the experience of all my beautiful clients that i've shot i have if i printed all of them this wall will be <laughs> will be <laughs> full, completely full. <laughs> will be completely That's full awesome. but Hopefully, I'll get an opportunity to do that. <laughs> oh, you thank you. Thank Look you. at this. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So, introduce us to your team. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have some amazing team members. Um, to, this is my 
um, assistant and she's my oldest daughter and she's an amazing I, I I can't I don't know what I'll do without her see she can't help herself always <laughs> fixing things but um, she's the best assistant that I can ask for so this is my daughter Janae Brown Hi. Um, <laughs> thank you um, we just this is the lovely Mercedes she is a wonderful model and I'm so honored um, to shoot with you today again, again, <laughs> again and again. <laughs> I, I get so jealous when I see her out there shooting. So I, I have to not be selfish, but <laughs> um, my makeup artist is Tatiana. Um, I do have um, work with Tatiana as well as Nikita. Um, I have two phenomenal makeup artists. Um, um, I just have a great team. My mother, um, she's somewhere out here, but she, it's a team effort. Um, my hus now husband, he is not here today, but he is amazing. He makes this thing happen, and he is the um, the person that inspired me and encouraged me to be the boudoir photographer I am today. That's awesome, and it's it's always great to have people who are always helping you in making things happen. Can you give us a quick tour? Absolutely, yes. So um, as we were coming down the stairs. I have my beautiful green wall. I can yes. walk you over here. So, um, uh, Yulia, we can probably take a quick little selfie. selfie. <laughs> so, so this is what we will do. Yeah. In front of the we green just, wall. We just need a, a little bit of light. Okay. Hold it. Janae, can you? Hold it. So we're working on it, but you know. Yes, yeah, you can give us some light with them. Okay. Ready? Yes. Hello, gorgeous. Yes. So yes. Yeah, so and we got a so, selfie here. So we get our selfie. We have fun, and then I. So from here, um, we can do it. Then we move on to our makeup area. So we. Small eye clients, we have um, with great um, hors d'oeuvres. Um, sometimes my clients um, desire adult beverage, so we can have champagne or, um, or we'll have sparkling water, whatever my clients want, I make sure that they are well catered to. So from here, um, we do the makeup and hairstyling over here, and then I move on to our I introduce them to our some of our products that we offer, um, in addition to some of the canvases and acrylics and metals that we do offer our clients. But this is just a little sneak peek mm -hmm. um, that I, I show them, so they'll have an opportunity to um, while they're getting their makeup and hair done, get to a chance through, to, yeah. to look through some of the body of work um, for nice. my past clients. That's awesome. So over here is where I kind of stash some of our, my supplies. Like uh, when I'm preparing my clients for their shoes, if they want a, a birthday or beauty scene and it's um, mm -hmm. a yellow, blue, um, gray background, I, have, I try to have some of those things easily accessible. Mm -hmm. um, but the most important is the fridge. <laughs> The fridge it contains is. all the greatness, you know, like Always more, most important. <laughs> it has the champagne, it has different, you know, all kinds of goodies. <laughs> well, I love that. <laughs> then we have, I try to have a nice spread of different things like that. Um, but as you can see, I also try to continue with um, my different products um, and albums. But over here is one of um, my scenes. Um, this is more of your elegant, um, some of my chair um, scenes that I will have. Okay. Um, and then, and hopefully Yulia can help me today to improve this um, area and help me maximize um, this section in this area a little bit more. Okay, I love so, this. Yes, What's this going is. on here? Tell us. <laughs> So this is my boho section um, scene. Um, this set is one of my favorites. Um, most of my clients want to shoot this, and I think it's because shoot this with um, in this set mm -hmm. because of the colors, the neutral 
colors the um, sometimes I have live plants down here but this is one of my prime favorites <laughs> and I think it's very trendy now yeah that boho style is very trendy and then um, this area right here is it's a jack of all trades it can go from luxury it can go from um, the couch I do a lot of my wall sh um, scenes Shots. here okay. um, and then my handy dandy <laughs> slide effect, <laughs> slide effect. <laughs> um, my wall transitions mm -hmm. to different themes based on what my clients are looking for so um, I have multiple um, canvases fabrics all that kind of um, amazing um, um, different layers to add um, different textures and, and feel to my scenes, right. uh, my sets. <laughs> so moving on to where all the magic really happens. <laughs> okay. You will see the bedroom scene. So in here, I think most of my time is spent in here. Um, I try to leverage um, from the bed to the wall, um, the mirror, different things like that in this mm -hmm. room. So most of my time with my clients are spent here. I like to start in the bedroom, you know, after watching Yulia for a year <laughs> now. <laughs> She's you. always started in the bedroom and she has an amazing um, YouTube um, scene that shows you how to pose in the bed. And from there, I try to practice all those poses <laughs> on my clients, and they have worked out great. So thank you for well, that. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> so this is this is my I, my studio is about uh, a little less than 700 square feet, and I try to maximize oh the space to the best of my abilities. And so far, it's worked. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, uh, everything looks great, and we'll talk about what can be done. Uh, a little bit later. Awesome. Um, but I think your space has lots of potential and you can always do uh, changes every time. That's what I do. I always do changes. So let's, um, let's talk a little bit about you. Okay. Tell us about yourself and how you started Boudoir. Okay. Um, so I am, um, I'm in IT by trade, uh, but I have, um, I found photography um, maybe a couple of years ago um, through my now husband. I have to remember that. <laughs> my now husband, I just got married on um, March 5th. So thank you. Um, so I have been his assistant for for years and, um, and I thought I loved IT. But once I started, when I finally picked up the camera, I fell in love with the art of photography. So um, I am a mother. I am, I would say I'm a boss. And I'm, a, you know, I, um, and I'm a wife now. So that's me. Tell us about your business. Okay. So um, Ava Rose, the, everyone always asks, how did you come up with the name Ava Rose? So, um, three years ago, I had this great idea that, well, we had this great idea that we were gonna have a child. <laughs> it was completely a surprise, but you know, on our way to giving birth to our daughter, who is Miss Ava Rose, mm. I said, well, honey, why don't we name our boudoir company Ava Rose? So that's how Ava Rose came about. Um, she, so as I birthed um, my daughter, I also birthed um, Ava yeah. Rose, our photography business. Nice. Um, as you can see, we have a home studio. Um, it's a luxury experience is what we have um, here at our home studio. It's in a great community. So our clients, when they pull in our neighborhood, is safe, it's comfortable. Um, so what is the name of the city? Um, the city is in Buford. Um, so it's probably like um, maybe 20, maybe 30 miles outside of the Atlanta area. Mm -hmm. um, it's um, right off of 400. Um, so, and then it's also off of 85. So I think it's somewhat convenient. 
So that's why I, you know, when my clients travel from Flint, Michigan or from California or, or even in the um, Georgia, Atlanta um, metro area, I want to make sure that I deliver an experience that they will never forget because I do live right here by Lake Lanier. <laughs> so, um, so they are driving a, a nice way to, to come uh, have an experience with us. Nice. Do you offer them um, some snacks? Food, yes, I drinks. We've we've seen the drinks already. From the time my clients <laughs> okay. come in, We're tasting them. From the time my clients come in, we deliver a great experience. From um, having light hors d'oeuvres, um, my our mom she makes the best pasta salad that you can ever imagine, and then um, we work with the. Um, local um, restaurants mm -hmm. and they have the best guacamole I've ever had um, at Bravo's <laughs> but um, we also you know from one by the, once they come into their babe cave um, here at our studio and I introduce them to the makeup artists our makeup artists are amazing. Mm -hmm. They cater to them. My assistant, she caters to our clients. We don't want them worry about anything. Mm -hmm. We organize their um, outfits. So um, while they're in the chair getting pampered, we are preparing their outfits. We are laying things out, finding out what is their must haves or and then just right. working things out. So um, that's one of the uh, great experience that we have here. And we do offer adult beverages to a minimum. And then we also have our spark sparkling water um, and Coke products. <laughs> and tell us about your challenges. So with my challenges, um, the challenges I have experienced is that I don't have a lot of natural light in my studio. Um, I... Um, always trying to figure out how I can create some amazing um, artistry with eight foot, eight foot ceilings. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so with that, I try to be creative with every client to give them something different, but it does pose a challenge because um, there's a lot of separation in my space. So that sometimes pose a challenge. Um, I would like to um, learn creative ways to pose my client as well as utilize the space mm -hmm. that I do have. Okay. And tell us about your style. What style do you sh do do boudoir photography? Is it more on a kind of um, glamour, busy st side, mm -hmm. or you prefer clean, um, clean lines? like more I, negative space or what what do you think your, um, your my style, style is so I just or what would be your ideal style so let me rewind a little bit so I started shooting boudoir like I would say full-time um, about a year and a half mm -hmm. um, roughly a year and a half ago and um, I didn't know my style at first. I was shooting light and airy, everything was bright. Mm -hmm. But after, you know, going mentoring and and you know, and getting the proper training, I finally found my voice or my style. And my style is is I love clean lines. I love um, the elegance, um, like with my clients, I have them to breathe in and breathe out just a little and just to be able to capture the nice, you mm -hmm. know. Um, you know, body posture, more poise. I do like um, black and white for some images, but I do like the pop of color. Okay. I'm finding out that um, I want to, I, I found out that I do like texture, mm -hmm. fabrics okay. in, my, in my poses. And colors. And, and, okay. and just a pop of color. Maybe I would say dark and moody-ish. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, so what are your expectations from this meeting? So from this meeting, one, I think you've already met my expectations by just showing up. <laughs> well, thank you. I mean, just... She is so <laughs> sweet, very sweet. And uh, so. yeah, the, your hospitality is amazing. Oh, thank yes. you. And she made me feel so special. And I think that's, if she made me feel special, I can imagine how special all her clients feel like. So it's, it's a great experience already. Thank you. So that, that's my first one, just having you here um, and to learn for someone, you know, that has been in the industry and, and, and for you to watch me grow. Um, based off some of the things that you're going to show me because I've been watching you for a while. <laughs> so um, I guess the other thing is I would love to learn how to better shoot um, mm -hmm. and understand high key um, lighting. So you want to learn high key? Yeah, yes. Or exactly. low key? Low key. Low key. Low key. So, okay. See, I'm working on it. <laughs> so you love moody, so that's going to be low key. If yes. you want something airy and more bridal style, then it's going to be high key. So low key is what I'm looking for okay. with the silhouettes and then mm -hmm. just adding fabric to make it more of a art form, more art, fine art, mm -hmm. you know, okay. that's what I would love to love to leverage yeah. because I like how you do it with the couch and in front of um, your sheer, not your shears, but I think you have like a mantle fireplace mm -hmm. mantle just so soft and elegant mm -hmm. is is something that I would like to continue in my well, when I, I started out boudoir photography, I had also, my first studio was home studio, very small. I had pretty much one bedroom and mm -hmm. that's it. So I had one bed, one couch and nothing else. So I had to figure out how I can utilize this small space. And all my shots were either by the window, on the, on the bed, and by the bed, <laughs> that's it. And the couch was so tiny that I couldn't even figure out how I can use that couch in that space. Then I moved to a studio I had, but I still have a small studio space. So at the beginning, it was really difficult for me to understand what is the best way of using this studio. How can I use the wall that is not available to me? Mm -hmm. And then slowly, slowly, I try to, exp when I started experimenting, I figure out what works better and what doesn't work. So I'll try to give as much information as possible today. Okay. So um, it's not just, it's not gonna happen overnight. Maybe mm -hmm. some things have to be built or have to be painted or redone or maybe mm -hmm. changed. But I hope that yes. the suggestions or recognition that I would give based on my personal studio experience with my small studio can help you to do what you want to do. Oh, thank you. Um, we can start from uh, this room first. Okay. Um, and based on what you want to achieve and the style that you're going for, mm -hmm. you really don't need much of a natural light. Okay. If you are going for the moody style, mm -hmm. whatever you have is enough. Yes, the ceiling can be a little bit challenging, I understand, but you still can overcome this challenge okay. and you can create something that um, you don't need that high ceiling for the, sh for the shoot. Uh, lenses that you can utilize uh, also can make your shot, your, uh, your image look really like your space look bigger mm -hmm. because especially for example i for my space when i use 70 to 200 millimeter lens mm -hmm. uh, that compress and creates that interesting beautiful uh, shallow depth of field makes my subject look like she's an environment like in a big big studio space and when uh, clients walk into my studio they're like Oh, I thought it was bigger. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, it's not bigger, but you're gonna get what you've seen, you know, yeah. in the portfolio. So they got really surprised that, wow, this is it. Oh, and wow. and my, I have one, two, I had only two walls before, and now I added uh, kind of two more. So I have four walls that I constantly use. Oh, nice. And I sometimes I notice that I use only one wall and I change my furniture and that one wall looks completely different depending <laughs> on what, what I yeah. put in front of it and depending what angles I go for and things like that. So um, 
what you have here is great and enough, I believe, okay. and you can do great things in this studio space, uh, especially with all your experience already and with all the experience you're giving to your clients, you know, it, you're doing amazing things already. Thank you. So let's just walk around okay. and see. Let me analyze things really quickly. Uh, and you, you've sent me images already, so I have some thoughts. Okay. Uh, so so, but before I continue, let's just walk and see um, what you have now, okay? okay. Uh, I see that you have a curtain over here. Tell mm -hmm. me how you use that curtain. So, um, I leverage this um, curtain area to create like um, dramatic flow poses and then sometimes I will have my clients, um, like some of my clients are not as comfortable um, um, with in their body with within their, body. their um, you know sometimes like for me my t I have a little tummy <laughs> so um, I just you know from whatever so I will cover. leverage it mm -hmm. you know I will have them just to make him feel a little bit comfortable by posing okay. with the shears and then at times I will also have them to lie on the floor in front of um, in front of the shears I will put some lighting in the back to kind of create, I believe now, mm -hmm. the low key lighting um, ex ish. <laughs> <laughs> but do you utilize this as your kind of window as well? Do you create that I, windows effect? Uh, yes. Um, um, one of my mentors, he um, advised me to try to do that. Mm -hmm. I just haven't figured out the best way to do that. Um, okay. All right. So over here, we yeah, we are doing just um, it's like a completely different setup here. Uh, how often you do use this this area? Do I have to be honest about that, Yulia? Yes. Never. You've never. <laughs> okay. But I've always kept it this way because it's so cute. <laughs> okay. You've never used it maybe because of the area over here that is not allowing you. Like you don't have the the wall on this side okay. that is or this side it looks a little bit messy or and that's why i like i don't like messiness okay when it comes like when i'm doing my shoot mm -hmm. i don't like a lot of stuff so okay. i felt like it this area was too much but i'm like well maybe if i just create it here mm -hmm. it will work but um i haven't figured that out okay. um hopefully you can give some Mm -hmm. advice on how I can better capitalize on this space here. So what I think, um, you have this room over there, right? Mm -hmm. That you are using that room for, um, oh, for wow. the bed shots, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And so it's very small. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you do it here. Probably, <laughs> I, I think it's really challenging. I mean, you can, of course, you can work with any space, but I can see that it's a little bit challenging mm -hmm. to do shoots in this room or not. I have made it work. Like okay. I leveraged the um, 24 to 70 okay. or my 35 or 50 um, prime lens mm -hmm. to just shoot in this space. Mm -hmm. um, I am either standing up Right. or I'm in this corner okay. and I'm really low and sometimes I've learned that I can create an experience by just shooting out here and yeah. slow okay. closing the door or I'll back up mm -hmm. all the way here um, I think I've moved this space around like a mm -hmm. gazillion times <laughs> um, and it has worked okay um, but um, uh, in general, bed takes lots of space. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't have bed. I used to have bed in my studio and mm -hmm. I use like this style of bed with a headboard and mattress and it was real bed. And then I couldn't do anything besides those shots on the bed. Um, and I don't use bed as much for my sessions. Mm -hmm. I noticed that the more I the better studio space I created the less I'm shooting on the bed mm -hmm. so I start from shots on the bed but maybe 10% or 5% of the sh bed shots uh, are chosen by the client just yeah. like for the album because we shot on the bed but the rest are just in a different with so a different funny setup that you said that like 
um, this past, maybe the last six months, um, I, most of my clients have been choosing images that are more creative. And are uh, not on the bed. And not so much on the bed. And so, that's so weird. And I just thought about that, just going through my albums. And that's what I noticed yeah. myself, that yes, we start on the bed because it's very comfortable for mm -hmm. them. Uh, less revealing, less uh, stressful to, to just start from the bed shots, mm -hmm. uh, just to warm up. But do we use as many shots on the bed? No. Mm -hmm. So I removed bed completely from my studio. I'm just using air mattress. Mm -hmm. So what if you use this little room as your reveal room, mm -hmm. like a, a room for reveal session, uh, and you move things that you have over there, I and see. it's a huge wall over there. I want you to see, uh, everyone to see this wall. This is a huge unutilized wall in your studio that can be possibly used for so many great shots, but it's not, it's dead over there. Okay. Uh, it has so many little things. I know it's maybe, it might look great if you have this room as your, uh, you know, small living room mm -hmm. where, or a guest room where mm -hmm. you can put all the decorations over there and your TV, yeah, that looks great. But as a studio, that's a dead space for me. So what I would do, I would put that TV and the couch, mm -hmm. I would remove that bed, you don't need it. I would create that little space for my client okay. where you can do reveal, you can do makeup session over there, okay. you can talk to them, you can bring these albums over there as well. So it's just that room. Okay. And makeup session can be done in that room. It's, it's big enough to do okay. all that. Um, you can put all these little things or you can still have all this wall as a storage okay. uh, to put those glasses and boxes or whatever you cannot. I'm working it out in my brain on how to do it because what and we do is leverage this as an IPS session. So I don't do um, same day reveals. Mm -hmm. So I have my clients come back in about yeah. two weeks. And you can do that IPS over there. And now why, I, why not? I never thought about that. So what I would do, and that's what I did in my studio. Uh, so what I had in my studio is, uh, imagine this is my space, right? Mm -hmm. So I have this wall that I couldn't, ut I couldn't utilize because it was just white wall. And over here, I had my open storage because I had I didn't have a single closet in my studio mm -hmm. so I would just put everything on this wall so at least to put something somewhere yeah so what I did I put a wall um, and I put all the the equipment behind that wall okay. and I created the textured wall with a fireplace and I had one corner ah. so I noticed you don't have a single corner wall no. over here so what I would do because this is something you have to remove and it's just pain in the butt I wouldn't mm -hmm. touch it uh, but what I would do I would put railing down here and up here I would add the sliding wall the sliding mm -hmm. like a sliding doors yeah. and I would do any type of design you want and just slide it all the way to to the end of that wall. Okay. So for instance, from that corner till here, that would be one sliding door. And I would go for a green color if you want to utilize this mm -hmm. boho style. So and imagine- put it over here. So imagine this is textured wall or it can be brown or it can be mm -hmm. combination of two colors. It's possible you can go through designs or we have a great designer actually who can give you suggestions so awesome. you can you can do that um, um, so imagine here is you have one wall and here is a continuation of this wall maybe the same color and i would since you love moody style and you love colors i haven't seen a single colorful wall in your studio why i don't know you just said i love colors well you know because you know, just learning and and understand and trying to identify my style. I stayed the cookie cutter and I followed the traditional um, boudoir. Neutral, neutral you know, colors. stay neutral, stay white, stay mm -hmm. you know, um, dark gray. Mm -hmm. You know, um, until 
you know, until I finally figure out I don't have to do that anymore, um, I'm learning that I can change it up. So having you here to offer those great pointers, I can, I'm going to like, I can't wait till my husband, my husband to come come because I have always told him to, we, we have to figure out something to better leverage this space. And yes, you can do like a um, moving wall, but I'm just thinking, how can you do it on the wheels? Because if you do it on the wheels, their wheels are going to be visible on, and you cannot do the a huge wall mm -hmm. on the wheels because it's dangerous. Because I thought about that too. But here, if you do the, is it called railing or what is that called? Slide, slide Sliding. Door. It's kind of like a slide door. So wall. what about so what I take this things... whole thing and make it a slide door? That's what I'm, what, or that's what I'm saying. Imagine you put those, um, what what are sliding doors on those uh, rails. Rails. rails okay so you put one rail here and one up and you do two um uh drywalls mm -hmm. and you put one drywall to this side and this side over here and you can slide what about them the barn, barn door like i can do barn, two walls it's similar it's similar, similar to that okay. uh, concept but uh, barn doors are heavy, expensive, okay. Okay. and you cannot do what exactly the design you want to go with. But Got it. if you create your own sliding door just made of um, a dry drywall, mm -hmm. it's going to be a wall. But nice. you don't want to, if you want to remove it, you're mm -hmm. moving out from this place and you want to just easily remove it, it's less work for you to just not just the draw. yeah okay and you still have this like let's say if you want to remove and keep the beauty of this setup uh, you can still have it uh, i'm gonna surprise you i can i <laughs> my brain like i'm such a visual person and i'm always thinking of ways so this place is probably turned like five times but I can see, and I'm gonna surprise you, but I have an idea. So let's say now you can use this area for your camera equipment mm -hmm. as well. So because you have all this shelf, so you can do, uh, you can put some stuff that you never thought about where to hide it. You can put them here. Mm -hmm. And then you, you have this wall. Now you have corner, so you have more room and more space uh, to photograph. Okay. If you want to, if you love fireplaces or you love uh, some sort of um, dre uh, dressers, mm -hmm. you know, those are also cute. You can put it one here uh, to just to create that to, to have it all the time. Okay. But the wall can be textured. OK. Uh, another thing I would suggest is to have uh, practical lights. Okay. Practical lights, what they do, they create depth. For instance, what I did in my studio, I, my practical lights are hanging from the ceiling and with your ceiling is really easy. All you have to do is just to do a hole and connect your light to one of those lights and just, it's not like there's nothing much electrical going on with this setup, it's really easy. And just hang those lights maybe on this side or get so like some the lights. pendant lights or just or yeah like we call them practical light practical is, lights. yeah practical okay. lights are any type of lights that gives additional uh, light to your ambience okay so let's say if you have a fireplace you can mm -hmm. do practical lights like those lights um, mm -hmm. on the wall okay uh, those pretty pretty, pretty lights ones. okay pendant lights and or something like yeah that. or you can make them hang i love those hang I like hanging, the hanging one ones because they will give you a little bit more i see um, it i see it i see depth. it i can see it okay so <laughs> also you can use uh, with the green color you can mm -hmm. definitely use the egg uh, chair mm -hmm. but on green it's going to give you more contrast it's going okay. to give more uh, mis mystery I would say okay and with the low key lighting I think that would look amazing okay. um, and I've seen other photographers uh, done this uh, with a green and it looks nice and I'll show you examples how it okay. looks the green shouldn't be like super green it shouldn't be like a green of the plant but now there is a trendy color green I can share with you as okay. well and even the hotel where, where we were staying that mm -hmm. green looks really nice and they had green chair. Green works with brown and gold. 
So if you bring those three colors, like an accent color gold and some green, it would look amazing. You can do half a wall brown and the rest green or combination of both and you wow. can utilize. So use as many different colors and setups as possible so your you would not look completely different but the pa color palette yeah. those brownish kind of colors mixed with green would look amazing with your clients and as a setup uh, um, separately okay so i love the idea um, about the wall i was just going in my head i'm always at ikea and they have like this really beautiful clear wall that we can probably put um, um, full length mm -hmm. to close this space up and then also leverage, be able to leverage this a little bit better. Yeah. Um, one of the things that when we designed this basement, we were torn if we were gonna make it a studio mm -hmm. or make it a space for living, but everybody stays upstairs. So yeah. we're like, okay, studio, here we go. But yeah. it was already designed. So one of my major concerns was the, the extension um, for the AC unit, mm -hmm. how, what would you, would I just continue the wall here? No, no. So just, what you do, you, cu you make a cut. cut. It's studio. Nobody okay. sees things like okay, that. But Nobody's, me. You, you're not gonna, <laughs> don't, don't think about like how okay. to perfect everything. Just cut uh, it. Just cut it and cut okay. it to the point. Just make it nice and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, clean. clean. Okay. And then it will slide all the way. Okay. And keep in mind, you can utilize the entire wall okay. by just bringing those two sliding. So not just, sliding, not not just, just half. half. Yeah. So do but the entire wall. Okay. Do the entire wall. So now you have the entire wall. You can put the entire couch over here and you can do another setup over here and you can move things around and it's like so many things awesome. you can do just awesome. if you have that single corner okay i can i and i understand frustration i didn't have that corner i have yes like a really small corner uh, mm -hmm. where i was shooting all my shoots were done in that corner but i can see that just with that corner you can create interesting depth of field and <laughs> and nice photograph so yes okay. meanwhile uh, before your husband came back okay. <laughs> what i would suggest i would do a backdrop on this side okay and use this uh, area with a backdrop okay so let's say if you're starting from that side then you're moving to this side paint this wall green meanwhile mm -hmm. for instance for example and then uh, when you're moving you have your flow probably so let's say if i was in the studio i would start from that uh, that uh, corner mm -hmm. and then move to this wall which should be a little bit darker maybe green and then i would bring my client here with a backdrop already set ready. up ready. okay and why here not there because here we need lights on the side and this is a great space where you can uh, position your lights as you want a little mm. bit further away from your subject closer yeah. behind whatever you can whatever your vision is for that photograph okay, okay. so that would be ideal situation so over here let me turn light to this side so people could see over see over here margot has uh, her products which is great it's a great shelf uh, i would take this shelf and i would move it to that small room okay. that i would use only for my clients okay uh, now you're gonna probably ask question what about my bed so this that was a that's a great suggestion i'm still a little torn um of getting rid of my bed area but i think that's a great idea because um, a lot of times I use my larger backdrops um, that are like 10 feet tall or 10 foot, 10 foot wide, um, 10 feet wide and it expands um, very long. And I found myself, if I have a light over in this corner, mm -hmm. a light on that corner, I'm tripping over myself um, okay, because of this because of things are in the way. Shelf. So. So yeah, that would probably help you. Uh, you can use air mattress. So mm -hmm. with air mattress, instead of, instead of the bed, you can mm -hmm. just inflate your air mattress and you can position that air mattress any, any side, any way you want, okay. anywhere. So I, what I used to do, 
I used to put my air mattress in mm -hmm. a way that it resembles for like a bedroom setup. Okay. So for example, if this is my studio, I would put it right here by the wall. I put the lights on the side, the uh, little things on the side, and it was so mm, standard. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, okay, this doesn't work for me. I don't like how it is. And then I decided to try it. Uh, let's say this is my air mattress, right? So this is my corner. So I have some lights uh, hanging mm -hmm. behind it. I have my fireplace on this side. So I put my air mattress like this, this way. It's not typically how you would position mm -hmm. your bed in your room. Yeah. And that's what makes it different because you don't want to deliver images to your client that looks like their own bedroom setup. Yeah. You still want to add some creativity, some interesting setup, something that is not normal uh, for a regular uh, bedroom style. And that's why I position, so let's say in relationship to this corner, my, um, my bed would be like this over here. So there's some, some space behind because my my lights are behind and I have some plants on the sides okay. and it just creates a little bit more depth okay. uh, to to my image so that's how I and I can move it like say if you don't like it like that move it to this side move it right because in the I'm middle have this new beautiful wall now yeah just so. put, it, put it in the middle that okay. would work let's say the, the the more space we have behind the bed mm -hmm. the more depth of field we're creating the okay. more interesting image we're getting um, everything looks kind of like blurry behind and main focus on the uh, on your subject and if the walls are darker color that will give more of a mysterious look and more contrast and um, just a clean and nice moody photograph if that makes sense so Perfect. let's move to this side and uh, you know I would also get rid of this and put it in that in, in the that in well. the room yeah let they do all these things over there while you're preparing your your setups uh, your makeup artist can chat with your client, mm -hmm. do all these things over there. You have your um, product station as well. Okay. So she'll look at it, she'll have her drinks and everything. And this area should look less busy, okay. like cleaner, busy. You'll see how you will enjoy yourself uh, working in a more clean space where you move from one setup to another easily. Nice. Okay. So regarding this, this, I really love the idea mm -hmm. of using it as your um, motivated, motivated light, okay. kind of. You create a window effect mm -hmm. with, this, with this space, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I would also do all my silhouette or semi-silhouette in front of it. So I would put the light if uh, and we can check today okay. how it looks i would put the light behind and then okay. um, shoot it um, create that silhouette or semi-silhouette style of images or you can make this completely straight mm -hmm. and then uh, or you can invest in um, the scrum uh, yes the screen panel mm -hmm. which is also easy to remove and use and I do have something the screen like that. material i just haven't he has not built <laughs> my <Okay>. husband <laughs> has not built it out for so me he has lots of work he to has do a lot of work. when he comes back <laughs> 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 all right so uh, let's move to this side um, this is a great wall over here. Like you can really utilize it easily. Uh, another another color that is very popular today mm -hmm. is blue, like a dark blue. Um, oh, he will love that because he loves blue. So, <laughs> so blue is very popular. Gray is nice as well. Or yeah. if you need white, at least mm -hmm. for some shots, I would keep it white. Mm -hmm. You can do texture on this wall as well. Okay. You can buy those. Um, kind of like I don't know how they're called even but uh, we designed those little frames oh yeah like right. a, I love that like how a classy you... look mm -hmm. if you want to like a more classy look you can mm -hmm. do that wall this way and uh, this is a window you have one window you can use natural light or what I do in my studio I don't have direct light so uh, I put my light 
in the soft box mm -hmm. behind the window. So can we show how it's going to look? It's a horrible mess out there. It's, <laughs> it's heavy. So I would take the light and if you have a um, Octa, that would work, but I okay. just want to show it as an example so people could clearly see what I'm talking about. So I would put my light right here. This one here or the... Um, oh, this is the, the window? This is yeah. the window. So I would put it here and I would use the soft box to make it look uh, very soft because oh, very nice. now it's going to go through the diffusion panel and the diffusion of the window curtain and when it hits your subject it's gonna look really nice and and don't and use a um, grid on this one no no okay. grid i would go even with i mean you can try this or you can try octabox okay. uh, just like him because this is a narrow spill um, i have i do have um octabox and i think i have a couple of umbrellas you can experiment and try whichever okay. works uh, i use octabox you okay. can try this one i've never done okay. but uh, strip softbox i can so take that for whatever me. works but this way you can actually if you're if you're shooting in a um, in a overcast mm -hmm. uh, during the overcast i can create you can some create light. some light as well awesome. and you can go for silhouettes and my silhouette with this light so because you have more like a more powerful light behind the window you can always create the shots that you need okay and i do have a question once we mm -hmm. get back in so because this is the only window for out here how would I, I will only do my silhouettes right here. Silhouettes? I you mean can, like the, the what you were saying. Yeah, you can, you can use that window and we can try today and see how that works. Or you can still use this I can area. still use it, okay, good. Because this okay. looks like a window to me if you put the light behind. I just don't know if they're too close. Are they gonna leave the um, hot spot? Or another solution would be uh, painting this wall uh, uh, to white color, okay. and then point, uh, position your lights facing the wall, okay. so the light would hit the wall and bounce okay. back. Because this is and technically not a pure white, it's like a grayish, brownish looking. Yeah, we can try today okay. and see what it does. Okay. And I think it's still gonna work. I thought it's like a dark gray, but yeah, I think that would even work. And um, it will just uh, bounce the light back okay. and uh, maybe create the same effect. So I did like the idea with the scrum, um, having a scrum behind mm -hmm. here and then using the scrum too. The, the panel can be used anywhere. Okay, okay. And this way, if you need again more, um, you can use, if you need to use different lenses, mm -hmm. I would definitely use this side or this side so you would be a little bit further away from your subject. You can zoom in, you can frame better, things okay. like that. So That's you can big. use the screen mm -hmm. panel if I pronounce it right, but yes, you can do that as well. Okay. Or you can just use this sheer curtain sure. okay. and we will try today and see what we can do. Now let's go back to that bedroom area okay. and let's see what exactly can be done here. Um, here, as I mentioned, I would bring your TV over here. You can just hang your TV here or put it on something. Okay. You can put your, or either uh, the, the other way around. Mm -hmm. You can put your couch here. You can bring that nice, um, uh, over here can be the, can be the makeup area okay. or um, where else? Yeah, can be makeup area over here or closer oh, to the window. Mm -hmm. So, but I think it's enough space. It's, it's small, but it's going to be cozy and nice mm -hmm. and you can do your reveal sessions. Uh, do you use your TV for reveal sessions? Yes. Uh, what about images? How do they, do they, um, the colors and everything? How do they look on TV um, on this one? I think with this one, he color grades it before a okay. client. Um, he uses a tool grade. to color grade it, and then he pushes it out um, mm -hmm. um, through the TV. Yeah, I think, yeah, and, and it's going to look even bigger, I guess, because yeah, the TV is big in a smaller yeah. room, so they're going to be like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, I think it's great. Now let's uh, go back and we'll talk about okay. um, what, we're, what we can what do idea. today okay. in the space that we have already. Awesome! Thank you so much for sharing all this information with us. Oh, awesome. I'm pretty sure it's uh, uh, whatever your challenges are, are challenges of many photographers. I had the same exact challenges and I hope I could help you with some information. If any of you guys want to add anything to what I've said or have better ideas or great ideas, please um, leave those ideas in the comments and Margot will use them as well, or yes. I will use them or others will. So share your ideas. Um, we, we talked about challenges, but Margot is doing great. She has uh, uh, clients who are coming from far away to her studio because she is delivering great experience to them and she makes them happy with the final result and that's what uh, matters. Uh, now we're gonna start the shoot. Our model is ready. She's been ready for a while. <laughs> yes. Um, so what we are going to do today is something that you haven't photographed with your model. So uh, Margot, she photographed her already. So you've done that area already with her, you've done on the floor in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. So today, since she's photographed pretty much, she used all the uh, setups that she has in the studio. We have to create something that she hasn't done before. Something that uh, when people would look at it, they wouldn't say, oh, that's an, exactly, it's the same model. So it's the same shoot or she's using the same model or she's just photographing one person. So we don't want to show that, right? Mm -hmm. And even if we work with the same model, we have to think in a way how we can photograph her that she would look different in that in those photographs so i would with what all the information that you just gave me and what i think is missing in your portfolio could be the silhouettes or mm -hmm. backdrop uh, images mm -hmm. like images by the backdrop more clean okay. style of images uh, with a main focus on posing maybe some creative posing something that you haven't done before okay. and that could be a great uh, addition to your portfolio also, I've noticed that area upstairs that, uh, do you utilize that area for your shoes? I have never utilized that area. I think it's just pretty. I just n never thought to use it, so. So why not to use it? We can actually start uh, from upstairs, do okay. a couple of uh, shots over there, then we'll come back and we will utilize, we'll experiment with okay. these fabrics here. I wanna see how that works. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Okay. Okay. And we'll go upstairs, grab your camera, okay. uh, we'll grab light or we can use just natural light. I think it's enough light over there. Okay. And with that lighting upstairs, I think we can go for, um, we're not going to go for a low key okay. because we need variety of images. We can yep. start with the normal exposure, I would okay. say, and then we'll, when we come down here, we'll work more on it. So we're starting our shoot up here in this first, like a small living room uh, in Margot's house. And Margot now is setting up her camera and testing. So this is the setup we have. We have this beautiful green wall, um, this very simple, elegant couch with our stunning model. We have this plant. This is a real plant and it looks uh, beautiful, matches all the green, the colors of the room and I think we can get some great shots uh, in this area. Uh, we have this mirror here, we can do some mirror shots and also um, window light. So we are utilizing now window light for now. We have this railing over here that I think can be used as the foreground. Uh, we can try and that little table I think can be used also as a creative shot awesome. with the reflection of her in this um, in this mirror over here. And I love that pose. That's beautiful. That's oh my gorgeous. goodness, she's so so uh, <laughs> <Don't> natural. <laughs> 
So yeah, I would, uh, as, as I mentioned, I would go with more clean, uh, mm -hmm. full body shots and uh, you've done your first image already, right? Yes. Okay. So, and then different just posing on the couch. Then I would uh, use this plant as the foreground. And then let's try to use this mirror, mirror as a reflection and go for a creative shot, okay? Okay. So did you get your test shots? Yes, I did. Everything looks good? Everything looks Share amazing. Share your settings with us. Okay, so I am shooting 1 one twenty fifth of a second. Um, um, F2.8. F2.8 and my ISO it's is 1000. 1, so I, I tend to go between 800 and 1000 mm -hmm. um, in okay. scenes like this. Okay, so if we need more uh, less light, we'll just go lower ISO. We need more light, you'll just increase your ISO okay. and we'll just um, move from there. But she's and amazing. Mercedes, Look she's at that. very natural. She is doing great poses already. I like already. the fall off though. And yeah, Chris, mm -hmm. let's start. Let's start the. So. I'm going to mm -hmm. come yeah. over here just to leverage the stairs a little. Janae, there is a um, device underneath. Shall I move this? <laughs> yes, okay. there's something. Okay. Thank you. Mercedes, you look amazing, darling. So. That's exactly what I want you to do. So the way you went from looking out the window, and then when I say you look amazing, darling, I want you to look at me like you look amazing. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, cause you do. One, two, you look amazing, darling. Yes. Awesome. One more, I'm gonna get one close up. I'm gonna get my shot. I'm gonna take advantage of. Okay. This is so awesome to be shooting with the amazing Yulia. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> this is so cool. It's beautiful. Nice. Let's now utilize that plant and okay. use it as our foreground. Let's so when you say utilize it as your foreground, you will shoot through it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or just maybe on the side. Okay. You can use it on the side, yeah. And our light is changing. Like a little bit here even. Okay. So just to create that depth of field, so we are creating foreground okay. and her in in the middle. And make sure that it's not kind of like blocking um, whatever you want to show in the photograph. So okay. position it how you think works the best. I can also, let, let me take a photo really quick and show okay. you what, what I mean. Okay, one, two, three. Just added a little bit of foreground, this leaves over here. You can try it on the other side if to see if that's gonna work better. But let's move this around and see if we need that okay. or I'm gonna try one one time before you move it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah, the closer it is to the camera, maybe that would look better. Beautiful. So is this the foreground or which one? Yeah, the, that's the foreground. So we have foreground, midground, and background in the image. Okay. So she's the midground. This is the, the foreground, whatever is in front of her and mm -hmm. kind of on, on, on the way. I and that's say. the background. And that's the background. Sense. So if we have some uh, practical lights on the background, it mm -hmm. adds depth of field. Okay. If we have foreground and midground and background, that's a more, we create more 
uh, three-dimensional type okay. of image. So awesome. we have more depth uh, of field in the image. So we can show it now with the video camera here. So when we position our camera here, and this is going to be our foreground. The foreground looks blurry and then the midground should be in focus. And the background, if we have lots of space in between midground and background, mm -hmm. then we have that blurry effect behind our subject. That's why I'm saying if you have practical lights, practical lights create that sort of effect and it works uh, really good for photography. You create That's that awesome. three dimensional image, more dynamic image. Um, and it always looks beautiful. <laughs> okay, let's, awesome. let's continue. Uh, we can move things like, I don't know how it would look the best. So okay. you can experiment, move this to this side okay. or as long as it's not um, creating that kind of uh, disbalance in the, in the photo. I would have never thought to bring the plant up. I would always do like the traditional thing of, Mm -hmm. put it right here or put it behind and then so that it becomes the now background yeah. <laughs> <laughs> versus the foreground so that's awesome so um can you like you know how you cross your legs you fold your legs like you like go back a little bit bring your feet up um like this let me see if i can explain it you know how you do this really well so on the couch the yeah. mm -hmm. and then perfect Yulia any mm -hmm. suggestion uh, let's yeah, see how she positioned her, her arms bring the knee in a little bit yeah right there perfect I think that she's Beautiful. doing great yeah that's awesome okay and see if those uh, the painting behind her uh, is actually a distraction. So if you want to go for more clean lines, mm -hmm. maybe that the painting Can is a distraction. Take it off. So we can try to take it off and see okay. if that's uh, that's gonna look better. And they're light, I know, so mm -hmm. it's really easy to remove them and put them back. Okay, so now we don't have any sort of distraction. Mm -hmm. So our eyes are going to go straight to, straight her. to her beautiful lines, nice. uh, that beautiful pose, her facial features, her skin tone. So there is nothing else to distract us. And now let's add the foreground okay. and see if that's gonna work better, okay? Even we can kind of like see if that works. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but kind of her in the middle. Oh, and, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's why I'm like that. Um, oh, or it can be on the side, so. As, as long as it's not like a big distraction for, okay. for the shot. Gorgeous. Can you turn your face that way? Beautiful and bring it back to me beautiful so earlier you were talking about how to compress the image mm -hmm. is it that it needs to be a different lens to do so you can compress image with the telephoto zoom lenses and we need a little bit of oops Oh, sorry. We need a little bit of space behind. Behind her. So we can move the couch okay. further away from the Jeanette? wall. Janae? Yeah, just let, let it can stay here. Okay, right there. And this can be the, the foreground, I guess. And see? And since she I moved like, a little did. bit, we oh. can open this door and bring this light in. Okay. Bring one hand up. Yep. Close your eyes. Beautiful.
Okay, let look. me see. I think something is a little off, or do I need to? Yeah, what if you come here and zoom in? Okay. Would that work for your lens? Yeah, yeah, I think that would, that's a better frame. Okay. So sit how you're sitting right now, just more relaxed and yeah, right there is perfect. Well, stay right there. Go back, yep. Um, let's put this frame back and create that rule of third. Okay. Okay, one, two, three. Not enough uh, room for me to go vertical. So yeah, look, this is my my frame. So this one on the side, kind of she's with the beautiful. She's not exactly in the third in the in here, but I mean, pretty close. Pretty close, but we are kind of we have challenge challenges challenges with, with space, with the lens, <laughs> okay. and space. Uh, you want to try the reflection? Yes. I was hoping maybe um, something like maybe, well, after you tell me, I was hoping mm -hmm. maybe you can do something like this or I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But um, how would you leverage the reflection? Reflection? The, from the table. Yeah, I, as long as I see that reflection, so uh, do any sitting s towards the light a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I can see her reflection. Let me just... Uh... Something like this. Mm -hmm. So do you shoot down or do you shoot at her? At and her just... and the reflection is, you can, you can try different okay. options. So, but see if you, like you have to get down to, I don't know. You have to figure it out <laughs> depending on the reflection, I okay. guess. So, so see whatever works. Let's try that pose again. Okay. Just try not to cut on the, with the okay. reflection. So the idea is to have her visible okay. in, like in both. In both. Okay. Mm -hmm. Her face. One more time. Yeah, that's the great pose for that. Don't cut on any on hands or. That's me on your, on, the, on your way. Go back, give me um, um, some, let's see, get comfortable. Give me, yeah. What if, uh, did you get any shots like that of her? Let me see, it? not like that. Something like that. Mm -hmm. And there's so many things uh, we just need to, to try, I guess. Okay. Um, she can even, let's say, stand behind the couch. I was thinking that earlier. And then this can be maybe on the couch. Yeah, you can be on, yeah, right there. Oh, that's beautiful. So just focus on here. Don't let the, yeah, I mean, the, the viewer see the, the couch itself. Beautiful. Yeah, that's perfect. 
That is gorgeous. Okay, go ahead. You have one? Okay. I'm a little short. Just like simple. This is more portrait, I would say. Go like how you're just about to do your hands. Beautiful. Yeah, Look at me, eyes. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Gorgeous. Good. What about we'll on the wall? Or uh, we'll do the wall downstairs or? Uh, we will do, let's do that chair first. Okay. Right. Here is another setup for you. Look and have a seat. Oh, what about, can we close those blinds and have her on the lay on the yeah we can do that as okay. well let's do this since okay. it's ready and then okay. we'll move to nice. and again you see how it's very simple there's only one couch and look there that's is... like four different like options yeah. so and, far and we're just uh, adding white green and nothing behind and it looks very cute Okay, go ahead. Oh, you can go back to that pose. Thank you. Which is the only problem. It's it's a mess now. <laughs> <laughs> well, but as you said, this, if we wait any longer, we'll we don't have to make a mess. <laughs> yeah. She will do it all for us. Now move to another pose if you got the shot. Okay. Yeah, ask her to move kind of from pose okay. to pose. This way you're getting, yeah. Uh, do whatever you did like with your legs. First time you, I think you sit down, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. And that's cute. And try to use different angles as well. Can I do one? one? Oh yeah. Zoom in a little bit and, little and, bit. and shot her from this this angle. Okay. I think so this zoom looks in. really cute. Yeah, no no distract. Like it, zoom in by zooming in you're compressing the image, also making it look kind of like bigger space. Beautiful. Big difference, Julia. Okay, that's beautiful. I love it. And the less elements, like very little elements here. One one chair, one plant, and gorgeous model. That's all you need. Oh, gorgeous. You can do a lot with Now the she can stand by the wall. Mm -hmm. Stand by the wall for me, please. In the corner or just Yeah, just in the So what I want you to do, uh, you're just gonna do something like, like mm -hmm. that. Sorry, I'm always in front of me. And, and I like that light, kind of like the lines on the, the wall. I see it now and it looks really cute. And again, if you want to incorporate any, any, Plants. Stay right there. Look at me. Absolutely gorgeous. Pretty. <laughs> we just did a reflection in the mirror shot, but <laughs> it's a little bit crooked. I need to to work on that. One more time. So I did something like that. So try to utilize the shapes also.
So what we just did, we moved uh, this, what is this called? Um, um, I think it's called a buffet table. Buffet table, which with actually- With all my was, alcohol. No? With, <laughs> <laughs> with all the goodies, <laughs> we moved to the wall. Uh, so she, we can utilize it as some sort of posing table. Uh, and we're gonna do all the poses laying on the back or on, on the side, we'll see, or on the other, um, on one of the sides. Anyway, we'll, you'll see now. Uh, but uh, this brown and green and her skin tone, I think looks absolutely gorgeous. It's like a really um, beautiful uh, color scheme now for the photograph. So let's it. let's try. Um, let's do what, what you just did. Yeah, that type of pose. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And she's so easy to work with. You Bring can't. it closer to your hair, maybe? Yeah, right there. Uh huh. Perfect. And that light, <laughs> which is kind of nice as well. Close your eyes. That light is horrible. <laughs> I really hate it. Okay, I think it's Let going me... away. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Let's try Let's it one more time. Right there. My camera phone looks okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we need additional light, but we didn't bring it up here. <laughs> Probably that's gonna be nice in black and white, maybe. Just yeah. With the stripes. Yeah. Gorgeous. Close your eyes for me. Yeah, we definitely need some Close light eyes. over here. I'm gonna bring light. Okay. Okay. So we can never rely on natural light. No. Right? <laughs> it's always changing on us. It's uh, it's unpredictable. So that's why I use my Reflex S by Stella Pro. You want me to record Stella that? Because that's really good. You want me to record that? Because that was really good. So. <laughs> okay. And I usually, when I do this, um, th those poses, I position my light above my subject. So um, lay down, Mercedes. And that's going to be right above her. And if that's hitting the wall or give a little bit of spill, I would turn it away. I would uh, feather it away a little bit and um, we can get really nice, good lighting over here. We can do more dramatic style. So let me do a test shot really quick. Do that pose where you bring one arm here. Yeah, right there. And bring it a little bit <laughs> up. He needs something to stand maybe on, oh, just like that little, stand. little, no, it's very, the yeah, maybe right there the door is okay, the yeah. One, two, three. That's gorgeous, look at this. Wow. And show without light? You um, want me to capture it? Oh. And show, I'm gonna show you without light, yeah. One, two, turn it off. Or, or yeah, whatever I had before. Okay, that was before. Before? And this is after, Gorgeous. when I added light. You, ha you see how, what a big difference it, it does. That is and that major. light gives really nice, <laughs> natural light type of effect, which I love about. And so can grab you grab one your... more time about like feathering the light? Like if you can show... Feather, uh, feathering light, it means um, moving the light away from the subject so it won't be kind of it, it won't Hold go on directly second. on her uh, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. okay i'll do after after this one i'll give it to you okay so so that's going to be feathering the light okay Just tell me I'll do so it. it gives a little bit it spills on the subject but we're kind of wasting the light in this case Got it. <laughs> uh, so if uh, if let's say uh, my light is standing here I would normally, when I photograph, I would point it towards the subject, mm -hmm. but when, if I feather it, 
I would keep it here or away so whatever light uh, falls on her falls so it's not as much I would say Beautiful. Uh, and we also call call it uh, waste of light okay like we're wasting light all right Beautiful. now go ahead and photograph okay. take your shot Mercedes are you yes. okay um, with covering your boobs on this one I can oh yeah like taking the oh, bra off and just covering your boobs I can get you a blanket okay. or something Tilt your archer. Chin up some more. Okay, towards Move the light a little bit up. Gorgeous. Close your eyes. Yes. Now we can do a shot of you facing the wall on your side. On this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. And lower down your upper body. Mm -hmm. Extend your legs a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, and all the way up your chin, chin, chin. Mm -hmm. Light is good. And I want to see your arm, other arm. Mm -hmm. How you did before? Yeah, right, that's better. This, by the way, works great with a C stand. I have one too. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. Beautiful. Fix your face a little bit. Relax it, chin up. Give me um, perfect right there. Those are Stunning. trying trials. <laughs> this is actually oh, good, yeah. but that yeah, is just gorgeous. remove the uh, highlight. But... So we got some great shots Yay. in your space. Hi, my yeah. Girl. Your my new, new existing studio <laughs> that I've never shot in. Oh my god. It is gorgeous here. I enjoyed working in your space and now we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna work uh, on some uh, semi silhouette images okay. or images by the <laughs> backdrop. Okay? Great job, honey. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Great job, everyone. And great job it's to okay. you. Thank you so much for holding the. Uh, the light for us. So, what are we about to do now? <laughs> <laughs> so we moved back to this main studio and we are going to create some semi silhouette images, something that Margot doesn't have in her portfolio uh, with uh, this model. So we want to show you the setup. So move the camera to this side. <clears throat> So we are just using, what is it? Is it just like a... It's just a sheer, sheer like a scrim-ish mm -hmm. type uh, fabric that I purchased at the um, Joanne Fabrics. I see. So we just, you, we're using the, this fabric and uh, we position our lights behind, facing the model. Uh, so those are our lights and our model just right in front of this uh, bag backdrop we're using this posing boxes and i think those look cute um, for the semi silhouettes we want to position our subject sideways so that light would wrap around nicely and we want to see some tex skin texture, some facial features still. Mm -hmm. So uh, some of her lingerie also going to be visible in those semi silhouettes, but it's still going to be kind of a little bit of drama and nice. um, mystery in those shots. So um, let's see what I'm shooting. I'm shooting with my um, Aperture 5, 100 of a second, ISO 1000. Okay. And we want to, um, to overexpose our background. Okay. And we want to keep, um, we're not keeping our subject in, in shadow, not in complete shadow again, with a little bit of light. Okay. Of, uh, um, falling from this back background love it <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's let me do a test shot really okay. quick let's see how that works okay i think that looks nice i would go for black and white 
photographs and with black and white we'll see kind of more you see that nice highlight mm -hmm. and it's going to look different uh, in black and white you're gonna see more contrast okay. um, and now let's we'll just work on different posing okay 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 go ahead so um go back open your arms just a little bit and bring yeah and we want to see more shape okay because it's a semi silhouette image so we need the shape okay what you, you're doing is right oh, okay so you, we don't want to like she moved her arm a little bit and we have negative space here it's yeah. great okay that works for semi silhouette we turn our face a little bit sideways and then this light uh, wraps wrap around, around. Okay. nicely I see it. and we see some facial features um, if we want we can bring this out right and we see another shape over here and bring this knee in and we have this um, negative space here we have triangles here we have another triangle we have beautiful lines and because <laughs> because we have clear backdrop mm -hmm. background sorry now this is what is going to look like nice. clean but with a little bit of mystery mm -hmm. all right so give me a nice arch am i on your way I'm going to, sorry, like the 7200 mm -hmm. is. Yeah. And the 7200 is going to be better to frame how you want. And I would uh, zoom in right there. Mm -hmm. so I always cut limbs off, so I'm always afraid. Mm. Right there. Yeah, right there is perfect. Let's take a look. Yeah, we'll we'll have to work on um, on uh, the edges. You can fix that in post. Uh, you can just uh, you have to increase your highlights all the way. Up. You can bring your highlights all the way up, so this way the background looks kind of um, clean. Okay. That's pretty, just a little bit more away, yeah, right there, mm -hmm. gorgeous. I think that would work, you can, yeah, you can. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that works. And that's what I did, I went up a little mm -hmm. on my ISO, a lot. <laughs> okay, and that's pretty, you're doing great. Okay. Then, if you want, you can just go ahead, go ahead and do different posing, she can stand, she can kind of more okay. uh, hug. Can, can you hug? You were saying she could hug herself a yeah. little bit. Or she could hug the videographer. For uh, <laughs> doing such a great job. Yeah. <laughs> you can stand, get, get up from okay. those. Mm -hmm. This is heavy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can do something like, like that. Again, keep in mind, you have to be sideways, okay? Should I be like right in front of the light? So right, right in the middle and maybe like somewhere here. A little bit away. More, 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 more. Right there. Mm -hmm. So let's try. Okay. So stay, stay in the middle. Right there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oops. That was me. Sorry. So uh, decrease your ISO a little bit, and Mercedes, you have to keep your like sideways a little bit more, okay? Don't turn your face towards the camera, and uh, bring your shoulders forward. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Let me try one more time. And something is. Yeah, what if you, yeah, yeah, like that. Uh-huh, yeah, that's, that's pretty. Don't position your hand on your belly. Mm -hmm. How does it look? Let me do it a shot really quick. And don't cover, let me show you what we're getting so you would understand what, what, uh, what we're trying to achieve. So you see, I wanna see, okay. Okay all of that okay. so maybe kind of like this 
Mm -hmm. And zoom in so you would just frame her more. Okay. So from, yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. I think that's better. Mm -hmm. And you can you can adjust the the. You want to try one how, more time? How uh, how bright the back background you want in, in post? Close your eyes for me. Perfect. Okay. I think it didn't fire. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And then let's we can focus on her booty as well okay. for now. So. Let's turn a little bit with your booty towards towards me, towards me with the booty. Turn around. Oh, turn oh. Around. No. no, like somewhere here. Yeah. So just a teen, teeny bit more, oh, right okay. there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, perfect. And now let's do this arm less. Arm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. And the elbow in. Yeah. And yes, yeah, somewhere there. Let's see. Do you see the highlight? Yeah. Gorgeous. So that's what we need. And your face. Yeah, right there. So let me see. Uh, Mercedes, move away from the backdrop. Mm -hmm. And let's do and don't turn much towards me just like a little bit there mm -hmm. and that arm out more the other one the other one no like here bring mm -hmm. it in yeah oh. and turn your face away from the camera some more That's and more. booty towards the camera more more right there yeah beautiful Yeah, that's pretty. Then you just have to clean the, the backdrop. Mm -hmm. That's it. One more time. So what's the difference between uh, semi... Semi-silhouette and silhouette? Mm -hmm. In silhouette, uh, the subject is completely in shadow. Mm -hmm. So it's just the silhouette of the subject. But in semi-silhouette, you can see some texture a little bit, some, it's like you're not in a complete shadow. Okay. So you can see some texture, facial features, but it's kind of, it should be kind of dark, so. Um, it's still like the outline, but a little bit more detail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are a lot of details that we can see and they are great in, yeah. And this can look, this looks like, like by the, mm -hmm. um, by the window. The window. <laughs> So that's what you can do, like your window style. And if we remove this now, let's say, let, let's remove those. Okay. And we'll do just the window. So here I have a Reflex S by Stella Pro and we're using Godox triggers. Um, so where they are on continuous mode and burst at the same uh, the same time. So when we are using triggers, it turns uh, into the burst mode and gives double of the power what we have now. So now we're just gonna kind of um, create that window type of light. And sometimes what I do, I do lots of nudes with the window if you have extra. Do you have it now? Yeah, you need sheer. Like yeah, that? like okay. the same the same style. So we can just kind of wrap her. If we're going for news, we can mm -hmm. wrap that sheer curtain around the subject, and we create that effect. She is standing in front of the window. There is like a really bright daylight <laughs> behind our <laughs> fake window and she's covering herself with that curtain, which we can try it now if you want to, or we can, yeah, we can show how it, how it looks, and then if you want to do some okay. kind of nudes, uh, we can do it without, um, after we're done with the video.
So that would look kind of like this. Yeah. Come a little bit closer to the curtain. I normally use a white sheet, but I don't, cause I don't wanna. And it, it's gonna look nice because it will blend Very with nice. whatever we okay, have. Okay, I see it now. And it's going to be kind of part of this setup. So bring this lower and one arm out. There, let's switch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. Perfect. And bring this leg in mm -hmm, a little bit more. Perfect. So this way we're giving that the shape to her booty as well. And let's do that shot really quick. See how it looks. And then you'll do your shots without the... Um, so turn your booty a little bit towards me. Yeah, right there. Yeah, it's a little bit, she's, so you might adjust the settings there because uh, the light is, she's very close to the light. Can she come up or no? Come up. Yeah, she can come closer to us. Mm -hmm. You still have that effect or you're good? Let me see. Just um, that light is right. Yeah, that, that works. So you can do that shot, but of her wearing nothing. Nothing, okay. And just uh, wrapping this fabrics around her. It's gonna look so um, not beautiful. We're gonna do a quick shoot nude. Uh, we're gonna show the final images um, and we're gonna come back. Um, yeah. And close everything out because yes. we had an awesome shoot today. <laughs> because we also have to drive back. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Ninety-five down the freeway. Trying to breathe, watch what I say. Don't want to regret, don't want to upset you. Fix my hair in the mirror. What you think when you see her? I hope she got that's it for today's video we got some great shots yes. our model was just amazing yes, yes. and <laughs> we got uh we could utilize your new studio new studio space <laughs> and we did some shots we could continue but oh, we also have to drive um, back to orlando so yeah, yes. yeah, unfortunately, we, we could get so many oh great, my gosh. great shots <laughs> because uh, Mercedes, she was amazing. Yes. Uh, so what do you think? I think the workshop was amazing. Like, um, I learned a lot, just the, the subtle things with posing and what to look for and the angles and, and paying attention to when using natural light. Um, natural light can be um, suspect. <laughs> is not friendly is not consistent but even within those obstacles how to navigate um, that was like mind-blowing to me and the most exciting thing um, is how to leverage my home and the spaces that I never thought about using and it was just it was great like the other part was just um, leveraging some of all the million tools that I have, like, you know, the piece of um, fabric that I had, um, that I have, mirror. you know, the mirror, yeah, like the, the, the live plant. So it was like so awesome. And again, we had a phenomenal model that was just amazing to work with, just pleasant and just knows her craft. So that made it even better. We tried our lights. What do you think about Oh them? my gosh. Those lights, it was small, it was portable, because I have different levels on, in my house. So being able to leverage such a um, lightweight light to um, go up and down the stairs, and then the it's so small, but so powerful. And um, I do have like some GDM lights, not to say they're not great, because I've been using them forever, but it like blew it out the water. So um, I can't wait for husband to come home. <laughs> <laughs> so just we rely on husband. Yes. He has a lot of tasks to Big do. Hopes and... Okay, so. yeah. Um, well, I love those lights uh, yeah. myself, and uh, I'm glad you could use them and try. And 
I'm, I'm glad it was helpful. It was great. <laughs> and um, yeah, thank you so much for it everything. It was a pleasure. I'm looking forward to North Carolina. Um, I heard that you have another workshop that I will go to because I missed out. Don't miss out. <laughs> Don't miss out. Don't wait till the last minute. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to the workshop in Raleigh. I know there's so much more that I'm excited to learn that you offer. Um, and I'm going to go back and watch some of the repeats, I mean, the replays in your boudoir course since you changed to the new platform. So I'm super excited about that. Yeah. So. Thank Marcus, you again. Thank you so much for having us. But guess what? Yes. Someone has a birthday. So just once again, just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for choosing me and working with me. These girls are amazing. They're just surprising me from the moment I stepped to the to the to your front door. It's like surprise after surprise and they give me gifts. So I feel so special. Yes, it was just special to have you here and and offer all the great recommendations. Um, I'm looking forward to the changes that is to come because um, I know it's going to bring in um, more um, more of my clients mm -hmm. and to offer a better variety. Well, I I can't wait to see those changes. Yay. So whenever your hubby is back home and everything is changed, yes. share with me. Oh, Mercedes, come say. in real quick. Yes. Just want to say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so you it was a pleasure working with you as thank always. You so thank you. And thank, thank you. So lovely meeting you. Yes. I was likewise. so nervous. Margo made me so extra nervous. <laughs> now we know the model when we're coming here to uh, Georgia. Or yes, Atlanta we're going to try to sneak her to rally with us. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, looking forward to everything, um, uh, working with you in the future, whatever you need. Um, just call me because between Tampa, Orlando, and Atlanta, yes. I'm always around. Yeah, so we'll see you very soon. <laughs> Well, thank you so much you. for watching. I hope it was uh, helpful. And please, if you have any good suggestions, ideas, please leave them in the comment area. We would love to see, to know what the ideas are. And I'll see you next time. Believe in boudoir. Mwah. <laughs> Yay, that is a wrap.